Hey there, thanks for clicking in. Here's my next restoration project. It's an old rare Wenger Tahara. This is a 93 millimeter knife. They're quite hard to come by. Um, it has the old brown fiber scales and as you can see this knife has some problems. The most glaring one is, is that the shield is missing out of the scale. Uh, this era knife, 1950s, 40s, had often had a plastic inset there with a metal inlay in the plastic of a crossbow. Um, so I won't be able to get another one of those because uh, they're as rare as the knife. But I will be able to fabricate something maybe out of a piece of red solidor scale and fit it in there. Uh, that'll look pretty good except I won't have the um, metal inlay. Uh, the other issue with this knife, really the most challenging one, is that it's missing this little brass collar, bushing, or washer that goes over the pin, the front of the knife. So I'll need to find something that will uh, go over that and maybe peen it out. Uh, or somehow affix something in there. And that will um, tighten up the front of the knife because one of the issues, it's a smaller issue, is with the main blade. It does have a little bit of a wobble back and forth here and I think that will be fixed when I can uh, get this pinned down a little better. But while I've got the blade out, um, it does have a clear winger to Heritang stamp. Uh, it's heavily scratched uh, but it's not too badly wasted away. A little bit here, poor sharpening down here. Um, I'll be able to take out most of those scratches and resharpen this blade. It'll look pretty nice. One thing about this blade is all the tools still have good snap. And that's one thing that attracted me to it. That the fact that, number one, I could just get it. And number two, that the price I got it for. Uh, but uh, yeah, so pretty decent snap. And it's usually really tired out on these knives. Here's your uh, screwdriver cap lifter. It's in pretty good shape. Good snap. Your first generation can opener. Good condition, pretty good snap. Uh, the bale is well attached, this old uh, nickel silver bale. Originally I thought these were brass, but when they clean up they look more like nickel silver. And let's see what else. This knife has a saw. No scissors, but a saw. And that tool has a really good snap. And uh, a small blade. I'm going to put these really pointy clip point blades on their knives. Uh, this one also has a good bold tank stamp, Winger Tahara. It's also heavily scratched, but not too badly wasted away a little bit. Um, but again, I'll be able to clean that up and sharpen it. It will look pretty good. On the back, we've got the corkscrew. And the old style awl. And it's got a really sharp point on it. This one really has a sharp point. So good snap on all the tools. Another issue with this knife is with the scales. Uh, I've got a bad warp here on this scale. You can see right down through it. See the corkscrew on the other side. Let me pull that corkscrew out again. And you can see right through that scale right there. There we go. So um, I didn't think I know what to do with that. That can be fixed. Um, but, uh, you know, there's also some cuts or scrapes here. I think I can sand most of those out. Um, so we'll see what we can do with the scales. Got a little problem with the scale. Need an emblem. Need a pin, uh, bushing. Uh, a couple things. But I think I can work on this. If I can solve these two problems, um, I know what to do with the rest of it. So I'll come back when I've made this knife look a whole lot better, I hope. And uh, I don't know how long that will take me, but to you that will probably look pretty instantaneous. Alright. See you in a little bit. Okay, well I'm back and time has passed. Too much time really. Um, but the work on the knife went pretty quickly. It's just that I had to wait on a part for quite a while that I'll show you in a minute. First thing I want to show you though is what I did with the hole in the scale. As I mentioned in the first part of this video, uh, I was going to fill that in with a piece of red cellador. Uh, that's what I did to try to emulate the way these used to look. As I mentioned before, they had a metal inlay in them also with a crossbow and the French word Swiss, S-U-I-S-S-E. Um, I'll pause here for just a second and throw in a picture of that so you can see how they used to look. Okay, so here's how I did that. Um, first of all, I took a little paintbrush and put some cornstarch down in the hole because I was going to put modeling clay in it and I didn't want the modeling clay to stick. Um, you can see on this side of the modeling clay there's a couple of little crosses. 
that's where I laid thread across the hole before I pushed the modeling clay down in there and formed it. When it hardened, then I was able to pull on the thread and pop it out. The cornstarch just kept it from sticking. Uh, then with this piece, it's roughly the size that I needed, I could lay it out on a piece of red cellador. This is a Victorinox scale. And that's what I used, a broken one. And um, then I just trimmed it down with tin snips and ground it with a Dremel and sanded it with sandpaper and just kept um, eyeballing it, test fitting it, you know, sand a little bit, fit a little bit until I got a really nice fit, I think. So that, uh, that worked out really well. The biggest challenge was this missing brass bushing back here or collar. And, um, you know, I, I thought at first I'd be able to just get a couple of brass washers and put down in there. Um, I couldn't find the right size. Um, they're not thick enough. And the problem with the washer is the holes are always too big. See, that pin just occupies about a third of that outer diameter space. And uh, a washer, that's it's about a 50% ratio, about a half hole, half washer. So that didn't work out. So I decided I would get a brass rod and fabricate my own piece. Um, the problem is I live in a town with all of two traffic lights, you know, so there's it's like 12 miles to the nearest Walmart. So there's not very many places for me to go get brass parts. And um, I had a really hard time finding brass rods, and when I did, they were all... Um, you know, quarter inch, eighth inch, and what I needed was metric. This is an old European knife, and that turned out to be six millimeters. So I um, went on eBay and I found a little six millimeter brass rod that I could order. Unfortunately, it was in China, so um, it took quite a while to get here. Um, this is what I got today, and I was able to. Um, I don't have a lot of machining tools, so I just hacksawed off a piece of that. I, I judged very carefully how deep I thought that hole was and um, took a couple tries but I hacksawed off a couple pieces and then I um, just ground the uh, edges flat smooth um, on some sandpaper brass is fairly soft you can do that with it and then I drilled a hole in it and the hole had to be offset a little bit because the pin was offset in the in the hole so I had to um, drill my hole offset a little bit too but it worked out well I put a spot of JB Weld down in there um, and then put it in a vise and snugged it up and let it set. It was still a little proud so I had to take a Dremel and grind it flush being careful not to get into the scales here and then I finished up with um, automotive sandpaper. So that worked out really well and a side effect of that was I had blade wobble before and now I don't. So that worked out really well. By the way, too, this was set in there with epoxy as well. Uh, the other issue with the knife was that it had a big, big bulge um, in the scale. And that turned out to be pretty obstinate, pretty ornery, pretty stubborn. I guess it had been in that position for so long. But I was able to get it mostly um, clamped down and I got it to stay you can see there's still a swell there. It's not nearly as bad. You can't see daylight through it like you could before. And I also was able to get out those ugly um, gouges and scratches in the scales. So yeah, the knife, let's just look at it. I polished all the tools. They look good. That bale, by the way, did turn out to be brass. I was debating whether it was going to be brass or um, nickel silver. And let's see. Um, this one also has a saw. Saw's nice now, nice and clean. Small blade. Small blade's got that Winger Tahara tank stamp. Winger Tahara, you know, Theodore Winger owned the company. His wife, so the story goes, picked the name Tahara after a Buddhist goddess, and they branded some of their knives uh, like that um, back in the day. So whenever you get a 
old wanger with the tank stamp to Hera, you've got a pretty rare knife. I said in the earlier part of this video, 50s or 40s, but really I think with these knives you're looking at the 1940s or 1930s. I was able to get a good sheen on that blade and a nice edge on it. Now the main blade, this one does not have scissors. The main blade, I found a pearl. This blade was so scratched that I didn't see these etchings until I started to work on it. And then I noticed, etched in the blade, it says, Enoxidabla. That's French for stainless steel. Enox, Enoxidabla, uh, Victorinox, Winger Enox. So that's pretty cool. Um, I put a piece of painter's tape, a real small piece of painter's tape over that, so when I sanded or polished, um, you know, I didn't get into it. And you can see that that blade is not as scratch-free as I like to get them, but I, I didn't want to get too aggressive. I wanted to preserve that etching. And then down here, also, it says Swiss Made. Now, this knife was poorly sharpened in the past, and somebody got into the S a little bit. But there it is, and there's your Wanger Tahara tank stamp. And I've also put a good sheen on that, managed to put a good sheen on that scratched blade and a really good edge. New fresh edge. Um, here are the back tools. That super sharp awl, but I just want to show you how clean that looks now compared to um, how it did earlier. Keep losing my focus, there we go. And then the corkscrew. So I'm very happy with this project and the way it came out. It took a while. I kind of bit off a little more than I could chew, but it had a happy ending. And uh, it's just a really nice knife now. It's not perfect, of course, um, but there's no big holes in it. There's no gaping wounds. It's very pleasing to look at. It's clean. It's smooth to the touch. It works well. It's got good snap. And uh, I'm just real happy with it. It's a, it's a showpiece. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope you got some good ideas from this, maybe if you're working on some old knives, and uh, have fun collecting.